I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. Our objective here is to help you understand how to solve some questions which are very commonly seen in international test papers. That should help you to compete and get admission to the best universities. Logarithms is a very common topic and we have taken three challenging questions from previous test papers on logarithms. I'd like you to pause the video, copy these questions, answer them and then look into my solutions. You should review the laws of logarithms before answering these questions. Question number one here is if x is a positive quantity such that 2 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of log to the base 5 of 2, then x is equal to which one of the following? Question number 2 is, if log to the base 12 of 81 equals to p, then 3 times 4 minus p divided by 4 plus p is equal to which one of the following? Now those two have come in combined examination, aptitude test. Question number three here is to evaluate log of 97 minus 56 square root 3 over log of square root of 7 plus 4 square root of 6. So Xavier, aptitude test 2019. We have a very similar question in our list. Now more than one concept is used to solve these questions. So, their solution will definitely help you to prepare for such tests. Let's now take up their solutions. Question number one is, if x is a positive quantity such that 2 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of log 5, 2, then x is equal to what? So, we are given that 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 log to the base, uh, I mean, it was in power, uh, let's rewrite. We are given that 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 log to the base 5 of 2. Now, if you remember the properties, then we can definitely write this as equal to change these two, right? So, it becomes 2 log to the base 5 of 3. So that becomes the first step. Now from here, you can say that x is equal to log to the base 5 of 3, but that is not one of our options. For the benefit of our students, let me provide you with a proof of this particular uh, thing which we did. So we are saying that we have a log to the base b of c. Correct? So what we could do here is we could rewrite this uh, exponent of a in terms of ratio uh, of log with the base a, right? So we could do this as log of a of c over log of a of b, correct? That is to say, what I'm trying to say here is something like this, a to the power of log to the base a of c and everything is again to the power of 1 over log a b right now this 1 over log a b can be written as let's rewrite and this part here a to the power of log a c is c right so we have c to the power of that could be written as log of you can flip this right b a do you see that part so we started with a to the power of log to the base b of c and we came c log to the base b of a and that's what we did here right so interchange three and two perfect now if that rule is known to you then you save all this time and become simpler now we can say x is equals to log to the base five of three but log to the base five of three is not our option um, to the base five we have only three over five what can we do? Well, to get this number 1 here, we can multiply and divide by 5. Do you see the trick involved? So we could write this as log to the base 
5 and we could multiply and divide by 5 to the number 3. Perfect. So that 5 by 5 helps you to get both the combinations. So basically what we are saying here is we have log to the base 5 of 5 plus we have log to the base 5 of 3 by 5. And so we get our result which is 1 plus log to the base 5 of 3 by 5 which is option C. You see that. So that is how we could solve this question. However, there are many steps involved. Right? So you have to be thorough with the rules of logarithms and also strategies how to get to the final solution as provided in one of the choices. So that makes a huge difference when you are preparing for uh, international universities examinations. Now let's take a, a look at question number two. I'd like you to pause the video, answer this particular question, and then look into my suggestions. Question number two is, if log to the base 12 of 81 equals to p, then 3 times 4 minus p over 4 plus p is equal to what? Four choices are given to us. Now, uh, what we are given here is that p is equal to log to the base 12 of 81. Now we are looking into this number 4 along with p. 81 can be written as 3 to the power of 4. So let's rewrite this as log to the base 12 of 3 to the power of 4 which can be written as 4 times log to the base 12 of 3. Correct. So we get a value of p which can be substituted and we can simplify get our result. So we need to now find what is 3 times 4 minus p over 4 plus p. So we have 3 times uh, 4 minus, this is the value of p, 4 minus 4 log of 12, 3 over 4 plus 4 log of 12, 3. Now 4 can be taken common, so it cancels, so we get 3, 1 minus log of 12, 3 over 1 plus log of 12, 3. So at this stage, uh, we could actually rewrite 1 as log to the base 12, and then we'll use uh, properties of logarithms. So we could write this as... 1 could be written as log to the base 12 of 12, right? Minus log to the base 12 of 3 over log to the base 12 of 12 plus log to the base 12 of 3, correct? So this can be, we can use the properties of logarithms. So we have here 12 divided by 3. So we get log to the base 12 of 12 divided by 3 over log to the base 12 was plus means product, right? So we have 12 times 3. So that gives you 3 times uh, log to the base 12 of uh, 4 over log to the base 12 of 36. Right, so... Uh, but the answers are not to the base 12, but they are to the base uh, uh, 2, 4, or 6. So we definitely need to change the base. However, at this stage, since you have log to the base 12, same basis, we could rewrite this as 3 times log to the base. Now, this could be written as to the base of 36 of 4. So that is a huge step and that is the derivation which you should know how do we get from here to this. So you could again work it out that if you change the base to 36, in that case you'll get this result, right? So one of the components will get cancelled and that is what you get and there is also a rule. 
for logarithms, correct? So that is kind of important to understand. Now here we have uh, 36 and here we 3 so we can take this as a power of 3. So we could write this as log to the base 36 of 4 cube which is 64, right? So we have log to the base 36 of 64. Now look here at another property of logarithms. 36 can be written as 6 square and 64 is 8 square. Perfect. So this could be written as 2 over 2 times log to the base 6 of 8. So which is equal to log to the base 6 of 8. Perfect. So we get option B as our answer. Do you see that part? So we have really applied two logarithmic rules here at this stage. One of them, perfect. So I'd like you to review these rules so that you understand how we are getting this result. And then here. So these are very critical steps to get to the right answer. I hope that makes sense. Now let's take up uh, solution of question number three. I hope you have understood the solution of uh, first two questions. Here is the last question which is extremely difficult. You need to evaluate log of 97 minus 56 square root 3 divided by log of square root of 7 plus 4 square root 3. Four options are given to you. Now let's look into this particular part which is 7 plus 4 square root 3. Uh, so you will notice that if I uh, take square of 7, I get 49. And if I take square of 4 square root 3, I get 16 times 3, which is equal to 48. So basically, we have 49 minus 48 is basically equal to 1. Do you see that? So, so that kind of gives you a hint. So what we have here is uh, that 7 square minus 4 square root 3 whole square is basically equal to 1. And you could write this as 7 plus 4 square root 3, difference of squares that is, right, is product of sum and difference. 7 minus 4 square root 3 equals to 1. So this is what you learn in advanced algebra. So I'm just trying to show you this technique and how it helps to simplify the equation, right? So we could write 7 minus 4 square root 3 as 1 over this, right? So that means 7 minus 4 square root 3 is equal to 1 over 7 plus 4 square root 3. Or you could write this as 7 plus 4 square root 3 to the power of minus 1. Is that clear to you? Now these are important things to understand. Now once again, the numerator could be written as a perfect square of 7 minus 4 square root 3. So you'll also notice that square of 7 minus 4 square root 3 is basically equal to 7 square, which is 49, minus 2 times this. So that means 2 times 7 times 4 square root 3 plus square of that, which is 48, right? So that gives you 49 plus 48 is 97 minus 56 square root 3. So the numerator can be written as a square of 7 minus 4 square root 3. So that is an uh, important part of algebra which should be absolutely clear to you. Uh, then we'll be easily solving this particular question. Otherwise, it can be very difficult, right? So now let's look into this solution. We are given log of uh, 97 minus 56 square root 3 over log of square root of 7 plus 4 square root of 3. Okay. So as we have shown here, we could write the numerator part as log of 7 minus 4 square root 3 whole square, right? That is a perfect square over log of 
7 plus 4 square root of 3 to the power of half that is square root correct so so this could be now both we could write now this as a positive power looking into this rule right so we could write this as log of 7 plus 4 square root 3 to the power of minus 2 now how did I do minus 2 it comes from this step 7 minus 4 square root 3 is 7 plus 4 square root 3 minus 1. So this was 2, it became minus 1. Do you see that part? Which I derived earlier. Over log of 7 plus 4 square root 3 to the power of half. Perfect. Now, so that should give you uh, now this is now we'll, we can apply the properties of logarithms and from here we can write down that this is equal to 2 times so we have minus 2 here right so you could write this as minus 2 times this okay let's go to this step okay so we'll move it to the right side less space here okay so we'll write this as minus 2 right it could be written as minus 2 over half this log 7 plus 4 square root 3 log 7 plus 4 square root 3 uh, well that's right so we have this can be written as minus 2 times log of 7 plus 4 square root 3 so I'm just squeezing it in right and this also log of 7 plus 4 square root 3, correct? So this cancels. So you're left with minus 2 over half. Perfect. We applied the power rule. Now what we have is 2 times minus 2 times 2, which is equal to minus 4. And therefore, option B is the right option. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we actually solve this question. So with that, we have solved three very important questions based on logarithms which have been there in previous test papers. I hope the review helps you to understand complete concepts on logarithms and how to simplify or evaluate such expressions. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.